Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel, Jack here. And have I got one for you today? So you can see here, Daily Race uh, C. And we're in a Group 2 machinery in the Nissan uh, GTRs. Of course, good time, starting P12, not the best of qualifying times, but I've got a new wheel now. I've upgraded from the G29 to the CSL Elite from Fanatec. So let's see how we do. And if you like what you see, guys, make sure you click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and be, be sure to click the like button if you enjoy or dislike button if you did not enjoy. Um, but yeah, we're going to get underway. So anyway, starting P12 here. And this is actually a relatively good race, but there is uh, definitely, certainly a lot of tweaking and ease to the wheel to get get better. So anyway, we are off, and we're focusing on getting a good exit. That's right, a good entry onto our first lap. And if we just look up ahead here, so we're approaching the first turn, and of course, there's always going to be carnage, but <laughs> in this circumstance, well, there's one. Uh, nearly two positions there. I think that was the Austrian gone wide there, I think. And look at that, a pool of Nissans <laughs> in the Group 2 machinery. And this is really fun, actually. I really, really got into this, but I think I need a lot more work on it. And looks like someone sneaks up on the inside there. So that's two positions lost straight away. Although, actually, I do just about manage to save it and just about move out of the way fast enough there. That's my reflexes. Or maybe that's just me on my new wheel. Now, anyway, important moment here. I've got it on third person on the top left there. So, uh, Coast Shark gets a nice move done on me here. And I unintentionally, I unintentionally spin Coast Shark wide, and I basically did not mean to do that by any means. I held my hands up there. That was purely my fault. I'm so sorry. That is definitely not how I raced. This is one of my first races with the new wheel. I was doing lobby races before this for about maybe an hour or two. So I've had some practice with the wheel and the pedals, but it's my first online race, and I just, I uh, just, uh, I felt so bad for that. So I'm so sorry, Co Shark, if you obviously see this video. I thought it was the Austrian ahead of me. I thought that was the one that I might have knocked over, so I waited for them. At the time, I wasn't really reading too much because I'm a bit blinded by the LEDs on the front. Uh, someone's gone wide there, the Italian. So I'm gonna make that position up, back into P12, which is nice. But yeah, I feel very bad for that. So obviously, if I see that driver again, I will be sure to give that position back. Of course, as you guys know from my channel now, I don't race like that. I like to race cleanly and smoothly as best I can. And obviously, I will keep my moments in here that obviously I don't perform very well at because I want to show, you know, that even the best of us can make mistakes sometimes, which is, you know, it's just inevitable. So anyway, we're going to look for the move here and we're going to just bug it down because it looks like there's a bit of lag spike there. I know it's got some connection problems. I don't know if it was me or from anyone else. Lucky me there. Um ghosted out so we're gonna try and hang around the inside which luckily we do um looks like of course it's ghosted out so I'm, i don't know if you're serving a penalty or whatnot but we are going to be looking at behind of p10 now of course we did start in p12 so honestly anything is you know as long as we finish better than where we started that'd be amazing so anyway some more fancy camera work we're going to look up on the inside here he doesn't defend it which i do appreciate of course it maybe means we can work together or Maybe I'm just being really brave here. Luckily, I do just about manage to keep it on the inside, park it on the apex and then accelerate out. Pretty nice, the yellow flags are up once again. More carnage on the first corner. This time it's the Frenchman. And we're just about going to get past. And ideally, it slows the other drivers behind us down. So you can see there, Magnum Dong is in the lead. That is a fantastic name. <laughs> Can't say I've raced alongside him before, but that's pretty cool. So we do just about cover off the apex here, which is always nice. And I do feel like after this video, I do feel like I'm a little bit better with the wheel, but yeah, I want to I wanna improve and obviously I want to get faster, eventually get into A, that'd be nice. Of course, mistakes like that's not going to help, but that's why I'm on my second account, so I don't stress out too much, but of course, I do want to keep that there for you guys, so I know that was fully my fault. I thought he already went past, but after watching the video again, I realised that's not the case. Luckily though, he's in P11, so good recovery there, which is good. Anyway, we are we do have a little bit of a gap now to P8, so we're going to keep our head down, keep our nose clean, and try and bring down that gap as much as possible here. Now, of course, they've got the slipstream. The guy behind me's got a slipstream. Uh, lucky, so I've pretty much got to rely on my pure pace around this track, which isn't really very impressive, as you can tell from my qualifying time. I did try and improve that as much as I could, but just couldn't manage it. So again, there's more carnage. Hey, another Italian has gone wide there. Um, I didn't know if there was contact between the driver ahead. 
and that's it it's heavy in there but that's not bad at least we're in p8 now so onwards and upwards i suppose really just try and improve as much as possible so i won't be showing off my rig yet because it's not very pretty at the moment it, i mean the new wheel on it looks amazing but there's lots of stuff to to sort out and make it look nice so what i'm gonna do I'll, i may, may show a picture or two um but i'm not going to be doing a proper rig i don't know uh, a rig video just yet just because i want to tidy up a bit and just sort the room out it's a little bit messy at the moment so need to get that sorted of course all the boxes in there and whatnot uh, this wheel came friday and today it's sunday so of course I um, uh, I've, you know, obviously I had pretty much I did this race on Saturday, so I had pretty much a whole day of practicing. But I didn't I didn't do any online races because I, I didn't think I was quite there yet. And luckily, it doesn't completely defend it here. And looks like the um, driver in P5 trying to break the slipstream to Joyce, or you know the the Spaniard. Here. So that's going to lead us to catch right back up. Now we're. Basically, pack of four. Yellow flags are up again. Are we going to see what's happened? Not, not quite. But it looks like P4 there is ghosted out or just going really slowly. So potentially uh, P4 is on the tables here. You can see there by the mini map. Some of the drivers are completely off with it. I think that's the first two drivers. Potentially P3 actually if the slip machine's broken. Especially if race pace as well. But yeah, I'm hoping to see my qualifying time start improving over time with the new wheel. Of course, I've got the P1 wheel on there at the moment. Um, I do want to upgrade to the McLaren GT3 or the Formula Esports or um, Carbon V2 or something like that. So I would like that. But at the moment, I can't quite afford it. So I'm going to stick with the P1 for now. But I do think I had missed that GT style rim, as, you could, as of course you might have seen from the Logitech G29 uh, MVH Studio mod that I've got applied which if you haven't seen I'll leave a card at the top if you want to see that video on the review I of course recommend it just in case you know you're looking to get into the market of wheels and whatnot you know it's always you know it's always nice to upgrade in it so anyway so we're still uh, looking behind here at P6 we are approaching our pit window slowly I think we're gonna pit at the end of lap 7 I, I believe or lap it'll either be the end of this lap or the end of next lap but we will find out but basically we want to push our mediums just a little bit more so we get more we get a lot of time on the softs but in addition we don't want to be slowed down by anyone so I'm gonna just start reeling them reeling in the Spaniard up ahead here oh, I don't know if you can tell but I'm door number one at the bottom right so um, yeah I don't think that's gonna be possible with the new wheel but <laughs> if I can just keep it well planted on the road and avoid carnage as much as possible that's always gonna be helpful and I, I really like this camera angle I've got to say I feel like the um, pedals make the make it feel really smooth instead of using the Logitech's ones. I honestly feel such a difference, but I won't, I don't want to give my review yet because I've just started using it. It wouldn't be, you know, it wouldn't be a proper review. It'd just be a first impressions. I think I'll wait, get some more practice in and then I'll give you guys a review in some in time if you want to see that, which if you want to, feel free to let me know in the comments. Going from a G29 to Logitech, uh, sorry, a G29 to a Vanatec, a CSL Elite. So that gap up ahead to P6 is quite large. Well, that's quickly going to be brought down with all the battling up ahead. And it looks like we're actually going to try and pit at the end of this lap. Because you're going to see here, these guys start battling quite intensely. I pretty much want to avoid being slowed down. Oh, someone's gone wide there. Um, another Spaniard. So that's going to be another position for us. And at this current stage, I don't actually have my pedals mounted to the rig. I've got the wheelbase mounted, but... They're uh, almost kind of like being pushed around, but luckily I've got some stuff to hold them in place. So it's doing the job, but just not properly yet. So look at this gap. We brought that down massively over that lap. So you can see here, you know, obviously that's losing, losing them guys some time to break away from me. And look at that heavy battle. So we, we could have gone for the move here, but actually I wanted to be smart and let him go. Because I know he's going to be maybe out for blood. So i'm glad i did that actually because where i may have normally gone for the move there probably got myself off track or ruined my race i backed out of that and i think that's a smart place so you can see there they're battling so we're going to go in the pits and we're going to change from mediums to softs and let's get that nice replay camera angle on shall we and no refuel in here so of course this is full this is a nice clean no hud pit stop there i know i don't show them often but there you go so lots of people in the pits we're going to come out but not really anyone's around us here so we're going to skip slightly 
to the end of lap 8. And it looks like, if we just look up ahead here, so the Spaniard is in the pits. Where is the Spaniard going to come out? I believe coming out on softs, yeah. So one lap fresher tyres than us, so not good. It may, might mean that we're cemented in P6. We're just about going to be too far away for that move. I may have could have pushed the car a little bit more, but I didn't have that confidence in the wheel. At least not, I still don't have it yet, but it may come in time. And let me know if you think my inputs are smoother, guys, as well, because I feel like I'm a, a lot smoother, but I don't know. Maybe that's just me. So we're going to try and work on bringing this gap down as much as possible here, and we're just basically trying to capitalise on mistakes. Of course, a lot of people have been in the pits at this point in time, but hopefully we can still gain more positions. That would be nice. Of course, I want to get all practice in that I can before I go to the... Uh, League races on Tuesdays and Wednesday, so that's going to be the Eurasia series, which if you haven't seen, I'll leave a card up top. And same with the uh, new season, which will start, which I won't actually reveal the name yet. Um, although, of course, anyone that's watching this video in the race asylum well may already know. So, of course, there you go. And if you guys want to join, I will leave a link in the description of the video below. I know sometimes it doesn't want to work, but if it doesn't, just let me know in a comment and I'll send you a direct link. It's not a problem at all. So, we have um, actually lost a lot of time to Joyce up ahead. You can see here, my pace isn't amazing, but I'm, I mean, I'm pleased that I'm keeping up this far. Although I think for my, uh, <laughs> I think for some getting used to the wheel, I'd like to practice in Group 3 and Group 4 machinery. So of course, next week we do have a little bit of Group 3s and Group 4s we can use, so we may end up using that. I have used it at Big Willow Springs, but it's not really the best track to get to grips on with, um, with this wheel, because I don't really know it very well. So anyway, we've only got five laps left of this one, or four laps technically, but of course we have to race the final lap as well. If you just look up ahead here, so I'm going to just try and bring down that gap. Do just about keep that tighter then, Joyce up ahead in P4. And we don't have to worry about Lucky too much for now. We've kept him at bay for a while, or her. Keep them at bay for a while. Um, well, it looks like Joyce gets it slightly wrong there, into the cones. The cones go flying, rip the cones. So we're going to get P4 there, happily, I'll take that. And that's pretty much going to do us safely up to the final lap here. And without that breaking point at the end, I did lose a bit of time. So that's definitely something I need to work on for future. I may end up doing more daily races as well, as there's still a little bit of time left in Sunday. Today. Um, so I may, may end up doing more. Of course, any really good ones I'll try and capture, but of course we'll have to see. So anyway, am I going to get this right at the last corner? Mm, it wasn't very fast, at least looking at it on the replay cam and looking at it here. Not particularly fast, but that means Joyce is going to get a really good run on us here. But luckily, going to be a bit too far away, so we're going to cement P4. Not too bad, considering you know, considering the starts and everything. Now, again, I feel really bad for Coast Shark, but Coast Shark finished in P9, so still got a pretty good position there, so that's, you know, that is always a good sign. But, yeah, a no, really good race. Um, of course, I need to work on the wheel, but I will get there. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, let me know, and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.